Hi, I'm Kat Chang. I am a feature film writer-director and a lover of teaching. And I come at teaching a little bit differently than others. I provide you with the experience of being a great actor um, and letting inspiration flow through you. Um, in a private session, when you come and take me up on the $40 offer, I give you sides and I give you time to prepare, just like you would have at, if you were at an audition, and I put you on camera. Then we put that aside and I give you another scene. Um, I work a little bit of magic on you and uh, put you through some exercises that really get you out of your head and connected to a whole different part of yourself. Not up here, but a part of yourself that really knows what it's doing, um, an intuitive part. And um, I put you on camera again, and then I show you the before and after. And usually, the difference is really profound. Uh, there's just much more connection, there's much more life, there's much more spontaneity, there's more of your personality coming through within the character. And there is a real um, intuitive approach to the character where you're trusting a part of yourself maybe you didn't even know you had to create this character. And it's so compelling to watch. I've seen actors just not even be able to take their eyes off the second reading where they're completely criticizing the first one. And it's interesting because this approach works uh, with seasoned actors as well as beginners, complete beginners. Um, I love when seasoned actors come in. And oftentimes what happens is they'll come in and tell me that they used to book jobs and um, lately they haven't even been getting callbacks so they wanted to come to a court reading class or audition class. And usually with that type of person, um, they can get back in touch with their joy of acting, that part of them that got them booked to begin with, and they'll be booking within a couple of weeks. And if you're a beginner, it's great because you never have to go through any of that torture. So that's really kind of nice. Um, in class, once you're in class, every actor works three times per class. And that, that's wonderful because you're constantly on your feet working. You're constantly in front of the camera so the camera's no longer intimidating or scary for you. Um, you're just in front of it feeling alive and spontaneous, surprising yourself. Okay? That is when things get really interesting. When you are surprising yourself in a reading, you are surprising us, the people who hire you the people who are watching and the ones who cast you, when you are actually surprising us in an audition because you've done something so spontaneous and real and authentic, that is when you book jobs. So um, I don't want to lecture, and I don't in class. I don't do a lot of talking. I want you to have the experience. And when you have that experience of surprising yourself, and you bring that into the audition room, that's when you've got it going on. So uh, every class you are put on camera, and it's very easy to download to your computer. And the beauty of this is that you can track your progress. You can see where you were at when you started. You can see when you're, where you're at a month later, three months later, six months later, a year later, and see the progress. And I always say the proof is in the pudding, and there it is. So you can track your own progress. And the other thing is, even after you've been booking jobs, it's such a good idea to stay in class so that you stay at the top of your game. I hope you uh, keep watching and see some of the videos from class. Many of them are just after five or ten minutes of uh, preparation, the magic work that we do, and um, they're pretty amazing. So stay tuned. Sunday Perfectly. Well, after church. Gina, I... But don't mention church. <laughs> Hold on a unless second. He's, unless he's into church, because that's okay, that's good for me. Sure, why not? Thank you. Oh, here goes, watch, side... Oh! Ow! Oh, boy, that is that is just rough. That is, ow. Are you, are you done? No, you know what, I think I also deserve to be thumped, so I'm just... Oh! Alright, so now I have been hit, slapped, and thumped. We, uh, are we friends?
It's early onset. It was in her jeans. Now it's in there. So what are you doing? I have a plan. Yes, yes, but but I am so much more powerful than anyone else at orchestra, and, and you know You're that. not going. Okay. You're not going to try to change my mind. How would I do that? What, what if we could communicate with them? What if we could, we could think to them? You're exhausted. Have you ever seen one? A formic? A formic kid. No, do they even have kids? Well, you don't come into the world fully formed, do you? Jane, it's okay, I'm, I'm nervous too. <sighs> Would you think me a really terrible person if I ordered a glass of wine at 9 a.m.? Let's make it a bottle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Waiter. Wow, I mean, at least you're leaving the house. I mean, God, after Brian left me, I, I had like a seriously committed relationship to homemade nachos. Yeah, you know what, I hear you. I've gotten pretty friendly with a couple of guys named Ben and Jerry. <laughs>